after Matt and I wrote a newspaper article, and it was posted in the Seattle Times about dealing with life with a special needs child. And Jill read that newspaper, and she looked me up in a phone book and called me. And that was the year before the Guild was started. I have been part of the Guild for nine years. I think we have been involved for about eight years. And that was probably sometime in 2006. Ten years. We've been involved for nine years. For six years, ever since Gracie was three years old. We've been connected to the Milo Guild since he was five-ish months old, so yeah. six and a half years. Jill and I and Markel, another mom, started the Guild. I'm Seth Cruz. How old are you? Nine. Excuse what? me? No, no, no. <laughs> Do you know what Mido is? Not really. I don't know. Let's see if I remember this right. Uh, it's a disease that um, makes me slower and have less energy than other kids. It's a muscular and energy based condition where some functions of the muscle are not always up to snuff, really. I don't... okay. Preston Potter. I, I like to be interviewing with you. Uh, inter uh, just giving in the correct answers if you don't know any of them. Oh, you think you're gonna know the correct answer if I don't know them? Yes, yes. And Nori. My name is Tom. Is Tim on right now? I don't know. Slap <laughs> one. Do you know who the Mito doctor is at Children's? Dr. Russell Sinedo. Dr. Sinedo. Uh, Dr. Sinedo? Dr. Sinedo. Dr. Sinedo. Dr. Sinedo was a bow tie. I'm bow tie. He yeah, always was a, a bow tie. Um, I think sometimes um, a tie usually. And what else does he have? A hammer thingy. A hammer thingy? What does he do with the hammer thingy? He bumps me and that's really hurts. Living with a child with mitochondrial disease is very challenging. Uh, everything is unexpected. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty about the future. The uncertainty is my know. Just the uncertainty and not knowing. You deal with it. You do. I mean, you, 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 as parents, you work as the advocate for your kid no matter what. You know. And you know when he goes to school, every time you hear about somebody has a common cold or something like that, it just makes you nervous because Mito kids or Mito people in general can go from normal to hospitalized like that. I'm wondering if it's something or nothing. It's always what I'm thinking about is, you know, if, if he's catching a cold or if he seems a little off or if there's um, just whenever there's something that's out of the norm. I just wonder, is this, you know, the beginning of something that's going to be a thing that's going to be one, you know, a new doctor to go to, a new problem to deal with, a new challenge for him to face. But I guess my view on it is it's just something I'll live with the rest of my life. And 
really it's just something that is a part of me and you know I look at it more as just a blessing rather than something negative. I want to be a photographer, nature photographer. A pod diet. Rock star. A boxing and fighter. And a drummer and a singer. A doctor. A chemist. A A chair fixer. A doctor. A doctor. Oh. Since when? <laughs> When you grow up, okay. <laughs> Why do you want to be a doctor when you grow up? I want to help people. Wow, that's just us. Do you have some options? No. <laughs> Mom, I have like a whole. Mom, I have like a whole, a bunch of years left inside. Yeah, but you want to be like a. I don't know, Mom. If you could pick anything you wanted, if it was just like. I don't know. I haven't thought. Of I think my hopes and goals are the same as anyone else's for their children. You know, you just want them to be happy and live fulfilled lives and follow their dreams and their passion. Day by day, make sure you're happy today. And then tomorrow, we start again. It's pretty simple. We're just really uh, thankful for the work that everybody does, both at the Guild and at Children's. And we know that our son's in the best possible place. Thank you.